The First Tycoon, The Epic Life of Cornelius Vanderbilt, by T.J. Stiles is a meticulously researched and compelling biography that offers readers a deep dive into the life of one of America's most influential and controversial figures in business history. Spanning from Vanderbilt's humble beginnings to his rise as a railroad and shipping magnate, the book explores the complex and often contradictory personality of this self-made tycoon. Stiles begins by delving into Vanderbilt's early years, painting a vivid picture of the economic and social conditions of early 19th century America. Born into a modest family, Vanderbilt displayed an exceptional aptitude for business from a young age. Stiles portrays him as fiercely independent, determined, and driven by a relentless desire for success. As the narrative unfolds, readers witness Vanderbilt's calculated maneuvers and shrewd decision-making that propelled him to great wealth and power. One of the book's strengths is Stiles' ability to contextualize Vanderbilt's life within the broader historical and economic landscapes of the time. He explores the profound impact of the Industrial Revolution, the development of the transportation industry, and the advent of the railroad system on Vanderbilt's rise to prominence. Stiles captures the essence of the Gilded Age, a time of rapid industrialization and immense wealth accumulation, and effectively demonstrates how Vanderbilt was both a product of and a catalyst for this transformative era. Moreover, Stiles delves into the complexities of Vanderbilt's personality in his relationships with others. While known for his ruthless business tactics, Vanderbilt is depicted as a multifaceted character who possessed an unwavering commitment to his family and a genuine concern for his employees' well-being. Stiles explores Vanderbilt's troubled relationship with his eldest son, William Henry, providing insight into the intricate dynamics of their power struggle and the consequences it had on their personal and professional lives. The first tycoon also sheds light on Vanderbilt's role in shaping the modern business landscape. Stiles highlights the legal battles and controversies surrounding Vanderbilt's business practices, such as his fierce competition with other railroad magnates and his ruthless monopoly-building tactics. The author adeptly captures the cutthroat nature of the business world during this era, with Vanderbilt emerging as a larger-than-life figure whose actions reverberated far beyond his own empire. Stiles' writing style is both engaging and scholarly, seamlessly blending detailed historical research with a narrative that keeps readers captivated. The book is meticulously sourced and extensively footnoted, demonstrating the author's commitment to accuracy and thoroughness. Stiles' prose is clear and accessible, making complex financial and legal concepts understandable to the layperson. While The First Tycoon is undoubtedly a comprehensive and impressive work, it does have some shortcomings. At times, the sheer volume of information can be overwhelming, particularly for readers unfamiliar with the intricacies of 19th-century American business history. Some may find the level of detail excessive, which may detract from the overall readability of the book. In conclusion, The First Tycoon, The Epic Life of Cornelius Vanderbilt, is a masterful biography that offers readers an in-depth exploration of the life and times of a legendary American industrialist. T.J. Stiles' meticulous research, insightful analysis, and engaging storytelling combine to create a compelling narrative that sheds light on Vanderbilt's remarkable rise to power. Despite its occasional density, 
This book is a must-read for anyone interested in the history of American business and the men who shaped it.